UBC blockchain is unique in that it supports multiple address types for an account. So when you create an account, you can pick which address type you'd like to use for the account. There are different digital signature algorithms that are applied for different things. Um, we intend to support address types of other uh, popular blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like this. And we also intend to support address types that can be signed with government issued digital IDs. So for example, Estonia has a digital ID, Italy has a digital ID, and other countries are coming around where you can prove your identity by uh, creating a digital signature with a card. So with our address types feature in ZooBC blockchain, we plan to support this out of the box. ZooBC handles multi-signature accounts in a unique way. So you can create accounts that require multiple signatures, and these are X out of Y signatures. So we say that you have, uh, you can say three out of five or one out of 10 or whichever way you want to organize which accounts need to sign. In fact, the set of accounts which can sign for a multi-signature account in ZooBC do not even have to be published at the time that the transaction is originally sent to the multi-signature account. Uh, we also support on-chain and off-chain multiple signatures. So you have the option, uh, depending on your business use case or how you like to proceed, whether the chain itself can accumulate signatures from multiple parties, which are compiled into a signature on the transaction you want to sign, or if you collect these signatures from the participants, say, in person or across the internet ahead of time, and then publish all of the signatures as a set. We tried to make the multi-signature feature as expressive as possible to include as many use cases as we could find from different uh, ways that people have tried to implement this feature in the past. We like ED25519 digital signatures specifically because they're deterministic from the input. So one piece of, say, message in the parlance that is going to be signed and one signing key will always produce exactly one unique signature for that data. That uh, fixes a lot of concerns with uh, malleable signatures. For example, when the PlayStation 3 network launched, they digitally signed all of their games using an algorithm which was similar but not deterministic. This meant that uh, if there was a failure in the randomness that generated the digital signatures, that somebody else could actually crack the entire digital signature scheme. And in fact, that happened. The developers didn't understand how to implement the randomness correctly. Somebody figured out that they had done it incorrectly, and now anybody can play cracked games on their PS3. So we take digital signature type very seriously.